Hey, John here. In this video, I'm going to step you through the back end of Bluehost, just a few things. But first, I'm going to start off and show you uh, in terms of we want an SSL certificate, which makes it an HTTPS. Okay, so all the all the stuff is done when you go to My Sites here, and then you click Manage. You're going to have all these tabs here, okay? So your SSL certificate option is going to be under Security. Now, I'm going to pause this video shortly because this is what we're getting right now. And this is typical. This is not unusual. This is a pending domain. So it's going to, they tell me it's going to take two to three hours for this domain to finish resolving. And that's normal. I think the other word that, that you might hear about this is called propagate. So I'm going to pause this video and return to it. I just wanted to show you that if you see this when you're setting up your site, this is not unusual. This is typical, okay? And so it's kind of a drag because you're all ready and you've got time and you want to get this thing going and set everything up. And all of a sudden, uh, you have to wait. So I, I never like this, but hey, that's the way it is. So I'm going to pause. I'll return. And then I'm going to basically do some tweaking in the back end here and then get into the actual back end of the website and finish setting it up. Okay, the site is now live. So what you can, you can tell that that's the case when I can go here. And it's actually on the domain rather than that other... Uh, domain they had a temporary one so you can also see I'm going to shuffle this down a tad right up at the top left a little lock that means that SSL certificate is also live now what's interesting is it was done automatically which is really nice so you don't really have to worry about it but you should check it okay so now that everything is the, the site is live, let's go through the Bluehost backend settings, and then what we'll do is the the rest of the series will be done in the site itself and setting it up. So, uh, first off, we go to security for the SSL certificate. Before it was pending, now it's switched to on. So if you don't want an SSL, you can turn it off. I strongly recommend that you use the SSL. It's free. It's provided by Bluehost. Next up is getting into your site. Now, I have to log in which means I can log in here. Now, if you don't have your password or can't find it or anything like that, you can do a password reset and then you will be able to log in. So that's pretty easy. It's nice that this information is all in the back end of Bluehost. Um, anyways, I actually keep track of my passwords. Uh, next up, we want to check all the plugins. I'm going to manage all of this stuff in the back. Actually, this, will, this might even be faster. I'll probably keep the Bluehost one. I'm not going to use a Kismet. I have a different one that's uh, better according to a site speed uh, consultant that I've used. And in fact, you're going to get a lot of good insights in this video series based on the recommendations of a, of a fairly expensive, capable site speed uh, consultant that I've hired for another site. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use Hello Dolly. I'm not going to use Jetpack. I'm not going to use Optin Monster. And I'm not going to use those. Okay, I have different plugins for all of that that I will use that I prefer. So those are grinding and almost ready. Settings, get the site URL, that's how I want it. Whether you have the www, that's up to you. I actually have some sites with the HTTPS www that shows up. Uh, now, generally, what I do is just defaults to this, and I'm happy with that. And automatic updates, this is a very, very nice feature. Yes, I would like to keep automatic updates. And... This is a good uh, setting here, five content revisions. What ha what can happen is, is if you don't set a cap there, what can happen is you can end up with dozens and dozens of revisions. And what that does is it creates a huge database and can slow down your site. So this is typical. I keep it at five. Uh, for my non-Bluehost site, Bluehost has a lot of nice features that does this all this for you. So that's, that's pretty cool. I use plugins that can also control for that. I typically comments, I typically just turn them off. I mean, for Fatsex blog, I have comments on because it's, you know, people, it's a type of niche site where people do comment and make, make uh, have good questions and make good comments. And a lot of niche sites, I find it's just n not worth having them there. Now, if you if you are in a niche where there's a lot of engagement and people are asking questions, all, by all means, it, it's a personal choice. I just keep them off. I don't want to moderate them. I don't need a coming soon page. I'm going to get this thing up and going pretty fast. So that's it. We are good to go. That is the, the Bluehost backend settings. I'm not going to do an email for now. I am going to just set up a quick Gmail account for this, for an email for the site. And we are good to go. We are set up. Next uh, batch of videos are all going to be in the back end of the site itself. 
and we'll build out the site.